hello viewers in this video we'll see net present value method with salvage value now we'll see one problem no project is acceptable unless the yield is 10 percent cash inflows or a certain project along with cash outflows are given below okay in this problem the outflows and inflow was given and the outflow normally for the zero period that is current outflow current period outflow will be given but in this problem the outflow for two years that is at the current position and as well as after one year the outflow was given okay the salvage value at the end of the fifth year is 40,000 calculate net present value the PV of rupee 1 at 10 percent is given below see the salvage value at the end of the fifth year was given that is 40,000 at the end of the year end of the fifth year the project is realizing 40,000 as salvage value so it should be treated like your cash inflow okay and the present value net present value has to be calculated and PV factor at rupee 1 at 10 percent is given below okay the PV factor was given for five years period okay we'll see how to work out this problem first I have written the format of this net present value calculation year PV at 10 percent outflow PV of cash outflow inflows and pre present value of cash inflows okay these things we have to find and before we find all those I'll write the information which is given in the problem see five year period and outflow and inflow was given so I'll write that PV factor I have written outflows for two years and inflow and uh, at the end of the fifth year I have written along with the salvage value see the inflow is 30,000 and the salvage value at the end of the fifth year is 40,000 so 30 plus 40 I have written 70,000 because as I said salvage value is a kind of cash inflow okay and uh, now we have to find the PV of cash outflow first okay normally we never used to find out the PV of cash outflow because outflow that is initial investment is will be given in the zero period so we need not find the present value of that but at the end of the first year they are going to invest again 30,000 so we have to find the PV of this 30,000 okay first year that is for zero year the same 150,000 will come under the present value of cash outflow and for first year 30,000 into 0 0.909 we have to find okay that is 27,270 because the value of money decrease year by year okay so 30,000 is equal to 27,270 okay and similarly we have to find out the present value of cash inflows okay 0 0.909 into 20,000 0 0.826 into 30,000 0 0.751 into 60,000 0.683 into 80,000 0 0.620 into 70,000 okay that is the present value of cash inflows okay yes I have written that and now I have to calculate the present value of cash inflow that is the total present value of cash inflows we have to add all these things okay we'll get 1 lakh 86 thousand and 60 okay that is the PV of cash inflow and similarly we have to find out the PV of cash outflow because the formula to calculate this net present value is PV of cash inflow minus PV of cash outflow or the investment okay but in this problem we have PV of cash outflow okay now we have to add this present value of cash outflow yes PV of cash outflow is 1,77,270 okay and we got PV of cash inflow and PV of cash outflow and now the formula for calculating this net present value is PV of cash inflow minus PV of cash outflow so 1,86,060 minus 1,77,270 yes okay and if we subtract this we'll get 8790 that is the net present value okay and this project is set to be preferable 
okay this project is acceptable because the net present value is in positive figure okay if it is in a positive figure we can accept the project so this project is acceptable okay i hope can able to calculate the present value of cash outflow and present value of cash inflows right and you know how to treat the salvage value i have given you a small problem for you to practice you just work out the problem this is similar to that of the problem we discussed okay just work out and comment the answer thank you for your patient listening